Day 22 of the Murdoch murder trial brought a friend and former law partner of Alec Murdoch's to the stand, but much of the focus today was on the question of whether Alec Murdoch will testify in his own defense, and if so, when? WSAB's Andrew Davis spent the day in the courtroom and trying to get answers to that question, so he joins us now live once again from outside the Colleton County Courthouse. Well, it's been a very hot day out here in Walterboro, but apparently from what we have learned exclusively and told you just last week, Alec Murdoch will be on the hot seat tomorrow, expected to testify in his own defense in front of the jury. Now, NBC News now echoing our report, what we told you, that the accused murderer expected to take the stand in his own defense. His legal team today verified that they could have him testify, asking the only questions he wanted to answer would be about the murders, not his alleged financial crimes but it ended up being a request that the judge denied. It just infuriated me that this young man had been murdered and there was still his remains there. That was Alex's former law partner, Mark Ball, who said some of Paul's own remains were still lying on the ground at Moselle the day after the murder. Paul also said there were no roadblocks keeping people away from the scene that night. People just kept, as he said, piling in. But as upset as Ball was for his friend, it turned to anger just a few months later when he found out that Alec had stolen millions from the law firm and from his clients. Ball says Murdoch betrayed his own friendship and the PMPED law firm family. I would have never believed that a guy that, uh, you know, was like family would have ever stolen from me, would have stolen from his family, would have stolen from his clients or any of that. I don't know the guy that after September the 3rd and leading out, I don't know who that guy is. Now, late today, a forensic expert for the defense said there were issues with this investigation, including the fact that some of those investigators were walking through the crime scene itself without those protective booties on to protect the evidence in the area. Plus, that the sheet over Paul's body should have never been put there to begin with. And if it was, since it was, that they should go ahead and put it into evidence because there could be hair or skin samples on there that could connect back to the killer. Now, the defense rested for today. Again, tomorrow morning, News 3 has learned from multiple sources that Alec Murdoch is expected to take the stand in his own defense as early as 930 when court begins. Andrew Davis, WSAB News 3 on your side. Andrew, thank you. We want to let you know that WSAV will carry Alec Murdoch's testimony live when he takes the stand tomorrow. You can see it live on WSAV.com as well.